Welcome back everyone to video number three in our Let's Play series of Clockwork Empires. So where we last left off, we had built a couple of bunk houses here for our laborers. And we're going to go ahead and continue that first and foremost. So let's go ahead and start out our video by doing that. And let's see, can we get... Okay, we do not want you... So let's go ahead and rotate this around. And we're gonna make this just big enough, once again, for three beds. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and put some cots in here. And one on the side, one toward the middle, and then one on toward the other side. Okay, and then of course we need a door because that would be very bad if we didn't have one. Now let's go back to our building and come back down to housing, laborer bunkhouse, and build another one. And again, a reason I wanna do this is to make sure that we have plenty of room because nothing makes these workers more miserable than not having anywhere to sleep. Okay, the only thing that would come close is not having anything to eat. So let's go ahead and get this underway because right now we have a total of 18 people or the option to have a maximum of 18 people. Right now we have 17, 10 laborers, and you can see that we have six beds here and only three here. And I think we got something uh, going on here. We'll deal with that later on. So we don't have enough beds for everybody to sleep in. So I'm trying to make some more beds and in keeping with that, if we look over here, one of the things that our uh, carpenter is doing is making sure we always have a minimum of three cots. So we should have plenty to do that. We just got started on a new farming area. And you can see we've got one overseer for this farm and then another overseer, whoops, hit, clicked on the guy instead of the farm. And then we have a different one here. So Fladgate, let's go ahead and take a look at him and see how many people he's got working under him. All right, he has one, so that's good. We want two people per farm. That seems to work good. It will also make sure that we have plenty of food available. And let's go ahead and click. Once again, keep getting the people instead of the thing. Okay, so right now we need two more vegetables to make more of the farmer's stew and the maize chowder. We're actually going to up this a little bit and continue making that. What I really want to do is open this up and get some, some things like bread. But in order to do, uh, for, in order to get bread, we need some wheat. And right now we don't have any wheat. So one of the things I want to do is try to get some trade going with some outside sources and to do that, we need to set up a trading station. Let's see if that's something we can do right now. So foreign outreach under buildings. And so we've got our barracks that's up and running. And we need a trade office. Okay, and it's going to cost us a couple of planks and two stone blocks per unit. So depending on how big we make this thing. And let's see if we have room to build one. And it looks like we do. We've got room right here. <laughs> right here next to see if we can get this in here right next to the grave I was about to say all right let's go ahead and make the trade office let's go ahead and I'll tell you what cancel that trade office gonna be right here and we're gonna make it a five by five really have no idea again how how much will be needed let's go ahead and speed up time a little bit so now, while this is going on, we've got lots of stuff being built. You can see we've already got cots in one of the new areas. We need some more cots, and they'll be working on that in the carpentry area. And let's see, I need to get a door in here. We'll put it right over here. And then we'll need a desk, and we'll have to see. It's made from... The carpentry workshop but we'll have to see what carpentry work uh, area actually makes that all right and we're going to put this 
we're going to spin this around because it looks like it's accessed that way. So we're going to put it right there. And let's see, nothing right now it looks like we need. So we'll let them get busy working on that. And in the meantime, let's take a look at our commodities and turn off all the filters and only show me the raw goods. And let's see, we, we are sorely needing of more timber. Okay. So with that in mind, I'm guessing we're missing planks. Yeah, we're also missing planks. So this is no good. So now we're going to need to get some guys busy chopping trees. Let's find some that are mature that we can actually chop. All right, there's one there. Again, all of these trees, and it won't let me chop most all of them, which is just odd to me. Okay, so we found a, a few there that are mature enough for us to chop. And here we go. Here's an area where we have plenty of trees to chop. And that ought to really help out some. There's some over in that area as well. Okay, that looks good. So now it looks like we've reached a point, although not all of the cots are in place, it looks like everybody has a place to sleep. Although right here, our overseer does not have a building yet. And if you notice in our housing, we need four bricks and seven planks for that. And so that's not good. This is also not good because these guys are talking about supernatural things and we'll have cult influence in here. And this is where it could get very interesting in the game. Again, the game, the whole point of this is to, the game wants to throw as many things at you to make your, your calling this as miserable as possible. So that just brings out some of the fun of this particular game. And we'll see how that works out. All right, so we need to get bricks up and working. And in order to get bricks, we are going to need a ceramics shop. Now we need some more planks for a ceramic shop. I wonder if it'll let me even, yeah, it won't even let me attempt to build yet until we have some more planks. So let's take a look at our jobs and see what we have working in our assignments here. All right, so we chop trees, we're constructing buildings, and look like we got some guys working on the trees there. Let's take a look at our overseers. He's chopping trees. He's got two workers with him. Okay, farmer, barracks. I'm going to want to fill out some more of the barracks for sure because I want to make sure we're as protected as we can be because I got a feeling things are only going to ramp up from here. Okay, then we finally, we got another guy chopping trees. He's got two workers with him. So that should really help out in our production there. We've now got a trade desk, which I'm not sure how to build, but it did tell me that I needed to build that. Uh, let's take a look at trade office and the bureaucrat's desk. Okay, we'll see what that does. It looks like it is, well, it's for keeping detailed records, but at this point, I'm not sure if that's required in order to get trade going or if it's just something that is there. It's saying, it says it attains superior diplomacy results. Okay, well, that's nice, but so diplomacy is not what I'm after right now. I'm after some trade. So we'll see. Let's take a look in our carpenter area and see if we have anything that can make this. All right, so our basic carpentry workbench, can it make it? No, it cannot. All right, so then we'll look at our workbench here, and we can make ceramics workbench, which we're going to need. What do we need for that? We need three planks, which we'll have. And I'm looking down through here as a standing desk, bookshelf, or name. I don't see it. Okay, so that means maybe that it's in this other area. Let's look under the carpentry workshop. All right, so we've got the first two. We've got a carpentry work bench and an assembly. What about the decor? See, I, it doesn't really tell me what I can make there other than it's for decoration, but does that... Okay, then here's an advanced workbench, but we need to get into metals for that. So a lot that we need to do. Excellent. All of our cots are in place. The next thing I'm going to want to do, if we look here, we've got room for now seven more laborers which is odd because we don't have enough room for them all to sleep. But 
we've only got seven overseers. That's going to become an issue because, remember, the overseers are like your managers, and you don't have the ability to uh, add new tasks unless you have overseers to do it. So it makes sense to me that one of the things you want to do is really max out the overseers, how many people they have under them that they're managing so that everything that they're working on is done as efficiently as possible. The issue is, like particularly for the carpenter, we don't have room for him to have himself and four workers in there So because we, we've only got three workbenches. All right, so it's been a little bit of time. Let's come back into our commodities and let's turn everything off and come back here. We've got 35 logs, still doing okay on stone. And let's turn that off and look at what we got for planks. Okay, so it looks like things are coming in. That's good. And let's see what our assignments are looking like. We're still working on chopping trees. We're still working on uh, finishing out the buildings. And so far, so good. You know, so now they're looking for other things to do. Okay, which I really like. I really like that. Let's go ahead and have them... Uh, clear out some terrain. Let's see. Oh, that is an area right there. I, I'm glad I saw that. That's an area that we can flatten. Okay, so let's go ahead and have them flatten that entire area. And that will be some good building area. Okay, let's also have them try to flatten out this area. And... That area. Now, some of that, of course, is going to overlap, which is perfectly fine. So let's see. I've given them now nine assignments, most of which are flattened terrain at this point. But they're going to get right on that and see what they can do. And the more flattened terrain we have in this central area, because I want to keep things together. And the more so the more terrain we have, the better off we're going to be for areas to build in. So basically, I'm trying to give at least a block of room to walk through here and while at the same time keeping things as nice and neat as I can. Okay, somewhere along the line, we got some more laborers and I missed it. So now that means we have seven more workers to assign. So what I'm going to do here is first and foremost, come down to our barracks and fill up the barracks. Okay, then I'm gonna give another couple of workers here for those that are uh, working on things like flattening the land and chopping trees and whatnot. Okay, we're going to go ahead and let's see what else we've got. We're going to expand our kitchen at some point, so let's go ahead and give them a worker. Carpentry now can work all three stations because we have the overseer and two workers. Uh, farming, I think we're okay really where we are on farming. So I'm going to go ahead and give the final worker to one of our unassigned professions or general maintenance. And let's let these guys get to work. We're going to need some more overseers right now because if we come back in, take a look at our overseers, we've got one working in the kitchen. There's one empty that's uh, working on general things. Carpenter, farmer, barracks, farming, and no assignment. So we have two free overseers. Okay, and we're ready here. So we've got a trade office. Looks like we've got traders. There'll be four of them that will be attracted. I'm not sure what that means. We'll see. And let's see. So it looks like we had some traders that were coming around, but they had to leave due to uh, some issues there. So it doesn't appear as though I need to assign anyone to this uh, trade area. Okay, so we've got a spat, so we're fighting here. And we're going to have to keep this under wraps. Okay, let's have the, the army take care of that. I actually have no idea if that's a good idea or not. All right, so crop damage. Okay, we're going to need to get some hunting going on. And in order to get some hunting going on, I need another building, which is Frontier Expl Exploration. And we... Not the mine, but we need the naturalist. Okay, but before that, we need bricks. So once again, we're back to bricks. So we come back into our buildings, workshops, and let's build a ceramics workshop. Okay, so we've got a lot of land area here. I need to have them work on this area. Okay, and we're going to build 
Uh, looks like, let's see. Let's go ahead and build about that big for our ceramics area. And we're going to put a door on there. And then we're going to put a stone kiln there. And here we need a lot more things. Again, this is going to get extremely tedious to have all these things going on at the same time. So we're going to go ahead and place actually two of those. So now this is only going to leave us. The bad part is it's only going to leave us with one free overseer until we can get some more overseer uh, see your house uh, housing going. And let's see, how are we doing on our on our flattening our terrain? Oh, excellent. Excellent. So let's go ahead and have you guys start on this area. I think I missed a spot there, so we'll increase that. Okay, so it looks pretty good, actually. Let's have them go ahead and work on that as well. Okay, let's see how we're doing on supplies. So we have four planks, which is not good. But we have 41 logs and 38 stone. So, okay, we're, we're pretty good there. All right, so we got these guys working here. We got our farms working. Our provisions, oh, wow. So we don't have near enough provisions for what we need. Let's take a look and see. Okay, so we maintain 15. I'm not sure. Looks like we should have plenty, but we may need to get some more farming going. And if so, that's perfectly fine with me. And we've got an incoming trader. All right, so here they come, and let's hope they've got some seeds for us so we can get into some other areas. So if you look at the mini map, you can see they're actually coming from the bottom. So we've actually got, we're flipped around. If we do that, we're a little bit closer to what it looks like on the mini map. Okay, so let's see what these guys have for us. And they're coming to the trade station, it looks like. Okay, let's slow down time a little bit because I want to see what these guys have. Okay, so they've got some clay, logs, rough stone, and sugar loaf. Okay, so sugar, unfortunately, I don't think we can really do anything with that, can we? It doesn't look like it. And really, is there anything we want to get rid of? I don't think so. We've got some gold that we can trade with them, uh, but really nothing that they have. What I want is not there. Okay, so I'm gonna let that run its course. I'm not sure if they just wait a certain amount of time before they leave, but we'll go ahead and let them do that. Our folks, so I, that was very disappointing. Really wish we had uh, some seeds or a better way of getting more seeds so we could grow better crops. Okay, so they're working on building and flattening terrain. We've got a burial. And we really need some more overseers. Okay, so looks like, are they done here? Yes, they are. So we're ready to assign in here. Let's see who we want to get. We have very small areas. So stone working. And yes, we do. So, oh, but that's our naturalist. So I don't want to choose that person because they have the naturalist. All right, so I'm going to choose bronze temper here. And bronze temper, let's take a look and see how many workers he has. Bronze temper has three. So I'm going to go ahead and take one of those away and give that to our overseer that's doing general assignments. Okay, so let's see what we have ability to make. Bricks, we need mounds of clay. Okay, that's awesome. And we want to maintain a minimum of 10 bricks. And right now it looks like bricks are the only thing we can make. So that one is not going to be used. But if you remember, we need these bricks in a bad way so that we can get some overseer housing going. We can get some more overseers in here. And then we can get some more laborers to work under them. Okay, so now we're down to one overseer that you can see here and four assignments being worked on. 
And of course, it's nighttime, so not really a whole lot of anything is happening. Okay, traders are leaving, which unfortunately they didn't have anything that I wanted or needed. So let's go ahead and get some more clay being mined. As I look around, I see some clay there, a lot of clay over here. And let's have them go ahead and, and take care of that. And let's have them go ahead and mine there as well. Okay, so you can see bronze temper is coming in. And right now, he really doesn't need anybody else right now. Uh, from what I'm noticing, he, you know, he can only do one thing at a time. All right, he's got some bricks. He's got a, some stack of bricks. Let's see what that does for our ability to build. And under housing, that let's see, we need four bricks for overseer housing. Okay, so but we're getting there. As you can see up here, he's working on it. And every time it looks like he's getting two stacks of bricks. So that'll be perfectly fine. And let's go ahead and see if it will allow us to start the building process. Okay, let's go ahead and I'm actually thinking I don't need quite as much room here for my overseer. Okay, so we don't have enough there, but it did allow us to go ahead and start the building. Okay, let's go ahead and put our door in. And the overseer needs, what does he need? And well, that's interesting. Okay, so far so good. Let's see what we've got on our practical beds. So we need, okay, so we just need more uh, planks than we're used to. And I am going to do something a little different here. Again, I don't want to waste building space. So I'm going to continue on with, I think that works out. They've got enough space there. Yeah. So we need some practical beds. All right. Let's see if we have, let's see, I'm going to spin this back around like I had it before because that's where, that's how I remember it. Okay. Our assembly workbench, we're going to have them now work on practical beds. And so maintain a minimum of three there at all times. So we're really going to need to make sure that we're producing plenty of, uh, we've got plenty of logs so that we can produce plenty of planks. Okay. So that turned out to pre be a really good size for overseers because it was just big enough to fit three in there. And with that in mind, actually, I'm going to go ahead and build another one of those. And let's see, housing, overseer housing. Let's see, I think I'm going to need to come out a little bit more for that one. I think I may actually get by with it without doing that, but we're going to go ahead and put it in there anyway. All right, so we've got our door. And then let's put our three beds. Okay. All right, so working on bricks. And let's go ahead and have them work on more bricks. And the reason is, is because I believe that Bronze Temper, our overseer, has at least one other person working with him. And actually two. So we're going to go ahead and take one of those away because we don't have a need for him to have two additional workers. And we're going to go ahead and let's see. Actually, I think we're okay. Looks like, I mean, the kitchen, we've got plenty going on. We've got plenty there. Yeah, I think we're we're realistically in in pretty good shape. All right, so let's go ahead and to our one remaining overseer that doesn't have a, uh, a specialized profession, we're going to give him as many workers as we can. So now they're working 
on that, let's see what we have. Okay, no increase in our capacity yet. Okay, we're going to need some more um, overseers. And these guys are working away with pickaxes on our on our building, getting all of the the rock out of the way. Okay, so far so good there. I like it. All right, really want to get a naturalist up and going, or an explorer as I call them, so that he can start hunting for us and finding uh, all the various mineral deposits so we can start building some mines. But again, before we can do any of that, we need some more overseers, which is hopefully what this is going to provide for us. We've got two workers in here, an overseer and an, and an additional worker here. So as long as we keep the mining going of the clay and allowing these guys to uh, have plenty to mine, I think we're okay. Let's take a quick look at, at our commodities. We got 30 logs, seven planks, so they're working on that. And let's take a look, turn everything off and then come back into food. We've got plenty of maize available. Looks like we've got plenty of food there. We've got some raw, wow, some raw steaks. So, okay, I'm not sure who killed those. But then we've got, so we've got a little bit of, of food, unfortunately, under provisions. Okay, so it's saying that we need more, we need to take more of this and increase it. Okay. So, got you there. And let, that means that we're going to need to come back into our kitchen area, which is here. And do we need more workers in here? It looks like we might, actually. We got two. So Trinket is our overseer here. Let's take a look and see. Trinket has two workers. Okay, so actually what they need more than anything, looks like, is if we come to our kitchen, they need another stone oven. in here. Okay, you guys need to stop talking about the occult because <laughs> that's, that's not good for me because that's going to lead to bad things for our colony. Okay, looks like we're still working here. We've got uh, some bricks that are over here to help out finishing that building. And you can see we've definitely got a lot of building going on, which is good. Unfortunately, we only have one overseer to do it. We've got another burial. Not good, but okay. So things are, are moving along. Uh, hopefully by the time we have our next video, video number four in our series, we'll have some more overseers so that we can get started and really expanding our area. So thanks for joining me for video number three in our Let's Play series and stay tuned for more Clockwork Empires.